Hi, I'm Andy, Product Manager here at Piranha Kayaks. I'm here to walk you through the features of the brand new Rip R Evo 2. Let's take a look. So this boat's been designed exclusively for Kayak Cross. Um, as Kayak Cross is now debuting in the Paris Olympics next year, um, we decided it was time to develop a really, really focused boat for the sport. So up here, we've got lots of peaking on the deck and that's allowing water to shed off. Anytime that water gets on the boat, it wants to flow off of the boat. We've got our injection molded grab handles to about a quarter of the weight of our drop forged um, white water grab handles. If you are wanting to take this boat away from artificial courses, we do recommend that you swap these out for some aluminium ones. Um, running along the sides of the bow, we've got a nice scooped paddle entry area. This is twofold. It allows your hand and your paddle to get much closer to the boat for a much more dynamic and positive stroke. It's also allowing more water shedding off of the boat. And if another competitor comes and lands on your deck with their boat, the farm will like to be diverted off and fall off, allowing you then to get back in control and get going again. Um, just moving a little bit closer to the cockpit, we've got a little jump here, and that's allowing any water that is on your deck that isn't pushed off by the shape, just to jump over your cockpit and just taking any resistance out of the flow of the boat. In the cockpit, we've got new style thigh grips. These are much larger than before and you don't need a set of hookers in this boat anymore. Um, as well as that, mounted onto them, we've got these nice cam cleat buckles and uh, these have got a pulley wheel in them. So you're actually pulling the backrest towards yourself and into the empty space rather than trying to push forwards to get that backrest nice and tight. Um, moving on to the back here, we've got a little bit of peaking around the back of the cockpit and that's allowing pop out of eddy turns. We've got a very fine edge along the boat and that's allowing a lot of cutting. Um, back here, we've got a slightly raised handle section, just we've got a little bit less water being trapped on this rear deck. Surrounding that grab handle, we've also got another recess, which is allowing the back end to be a little bit slicier and aiding the pop out again. Okay, so onto the hull features. Okay, so on the hull, up by the sidewalls here, we've got our wave deflectors. They're there to generate a lot of lift, both from the ramp and when you're running downstream, jumping over holes and stoppers. Um, we've taken quite a lot of the rocker out in the bow here, and that's mostly to do with giving it straight line speed. Um, as we've taken out some of that rocker that was generating quite a bit of lift for the ramp, We've added in these secondary steps down here. They're there to capture the water and to generate lift. Again, both off the ramp and when you're running downstream as well. This extended water line, there's quite a lot of roundness in the bow here, and that's there to give us a much longer water line. And in our Rip R Evo 1, we were definitely kind of running tail heavy. In the Rip R Evo 2, with this extended water line and something I'm gonna discuss at the back, we're running much flatter, much faster, and it's uh, considerably, considerably quicker downstream. These um, rails at the front, they extend all the way back to just past the hips. And they're here in the midsection quite strong. That's giving the paddler a lot of grip and control through the turns. Um, underneath the boat here, you may notice we've got some fins. These are both, these are an option on the boat, so you can have them with or without. Um, almost everybody that's bought the boat for racing for this season have got them with fins. These are here for a couple of reasons. Um, initially for the ramp, so they generate a little bit of extra tail rocker, so you've got longer that you can lean back on the boat and you can lift the nose higher. Um, they're also on the ramp, giving you way less skin friction. So you end up sliding down the ramp, essentially on three points of contact. So on the ramp, you're a lot quicker moving forwards off of the ramp. And then you can also land a lot drier because of the fins. Um, moving back here, these rails on the side fade out just after your hips, and that's allowing this tail to initiate and slice and slide around throughout the turns. Um, moving back a little bit further, we've got some recurve. This acts a bit like a spoiler wheel on a racing car, but in reverse, and this is here to help control the nose. 
So again, we want a fast, flat running boat. So this recurve back here is having a spoiler effect and throwing that nose back down. Okay, so the 75 and 85 are essentially the same boat, just with a few subtle differences in width and depth to allow the 85 to float an 85 kilo paddler. The 65, on the other hand, does have a few key design differences, and they're there to allow a slightly less powerful paddler get the most out of the boat. Okay, on the deck of the 65, we do have most of the same features from the 75 and the 85. We've still got peaking on the deck. We still got the paddle cutaways. We still got the jump. We still got the slight lump behind the paddler and the same cutaway in the back. It's the hole where most of the main differences are. Okay, so on the hole, we still have huge wave deflectors, but we've designed a lot more release into each end. And that's one big difference when you're trying to make the boat turn, you don't have the same power. Um, running through the hole, it's a much narrower boat. We've still got the same kind of rails in the midsection. They don't go quite as far forward and not quite as aggressive here. Um, we've still got the fins on the boat. We've still got recurve, but these features have been toned down a little bit so that when you're turning, you've got a little bit less drag. And it takes a little bit less effort to make that happen. For upcoming events and for results, keep an eye on our social media channels. And for more information about the RIP R Evo 2, head over to piranha.com.